are you doing? I'm so well. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me uh, how did the project come about? I, I got a call one day asking if I would be interested in making the third Thor movie, and I thought, oh, would I be? And then I found out that Taika was directing, and so I sat down and had lunch with him, and he told me his pitch for the movie and, and the character that I maybe could play. And then about a month later, they asked if I would come and read some of the scenes with Taika and get into a mock-up of the costume and the makeup, and and I, I, and I did that. And then about an hour later, half hour later, they asked me if I wanted to make the film. It's an awesome character, and I think it's it's like a really powerful, powerful woman without being like very like sexualized or uh, yeah. So I like that about, about me too. Yeah, yeah, me too. That, that we really wanted to find something that, uh, f yeah, wasn't conventional and felt different than the way that you see women in in some action movies. Yeah. <clears throat> Heroes are supposed to be brave, right? Yeah. And uh, I was wondering if you think bravery is something that um, needs practicing or is something that you, you have in your genes and you're brave by nature, or how do you think it works? As humans, or you mean me in particular? No, as humans, yeah. I think it's funny because you sometimes I, when you think of bravery in the, the stereotypical way as maybe in the superhero way of, you know, f of fighting bad guys or jumping from buildings. <coughs> and I think some of the bravest things to do are the simplest, like honesty, you know? Like for me, B Valkyrie in the movie, for example, is not, is not brave because um, she can fight, you know, people bigger than herself. I think she's brave when she decides to acknowledge things in her past that really hurt her, when she decides to confront them, you know? Mm -hmm. That to me is those are the bravest moments of, of hers. If you if you apply it in in the society we live in right now, do uh, you think bravery is we, we we approach it the wrong way? As you said, like maybe to do certain things and not being honest or do like things that require to be brave and people don't don't dare to do it. In some ways, I feel like the thing that gets me down sometimes about where we are culturally is it feels like people. I forgot how cool it is to care, <laughs> you know, to be engaged and to and to be upset about what happens around you, mm -hmm. about injustice, you know, to admit that you that you care, and to use your voice to express that you do, mm -hmm. and that I think that takes bravery to dare to be unpopular, and I think if you want to create kind of social change, you have to sometimes dare to be unpopular. Yeah, you think somehow we we admire like the, fo the, the, like the wrong supermodel, I mean su like the wrong model, role models or the wrong heroes or um, do you think so, like some of the role models we should follow should be like? Sometimes, I mean I think sometimes our obsession with celebrity, you know, there are definitely uh, some folks that have a, quite a bit of notoriety and I, I can't even remember why or what they <laughs> did, you know, um, particularly in sort of like tabloid culture. It was interesting, you know, people have asked me a bunch of times, how is it to play this for your first superhero? And when I made this film called Selma and I played Diane Nash, who's a civil rights, you know, an unsung sort of civil rights hero, I always thought looking at that cast of characters that we were superheroes. It felt like when we were doing those scenes, when we were marching on the Edmund Pettus Bridge and, in, you know, that felt like those superhero marches that you see in these kind of movies. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think while, while it's fantastic to look at these characters and think like, oh my gosh, um, it's really cool to look at the real live heroes, you know, like the Maxine Waters and, you know, Definitely. those folks. <laughs> I read that you study cultural anthropology. Yeah. Uh, what drawn you to I that. think for a while I just thought, I'm not going to be an actor, I'm from LA, that's so cliche, and mm -hmm. who cares, and what, it, what does an actor do, and how does an actor make money? <laughs> uh, and so for a while I thought maybe doing something more academic, um, and I've always been interested in people. I think that's what I realized when I was studying cultural anthropology, is that the part of it that interests me the most was um, trying to get close to understanding people by pretending to be one of them. Mm -hmm. I realized that I was writing these uh, scenarios in which I was this anthropologist in the field. Um, I was coming from it uh, the way an actor would, you know? <laughs> I think it's just what I'm supposed to do. That's awesome. It's an, a super interesting topic. I was obsessed with anthropology growing up. Yeah. And I read a lot about it and this is really is wide open. It's incredible. Yeah. It's yeah, it's incredible. Cool. I still think about it a lot. Like, <laughs> what if? <laughs>